April 5th, His Agony and Our Fellowship. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Tarry ye here, and watch with me. Matthew 26, verses 36 and 38. We can never fathom the agony in Gethsemane, but at least we need not misunderstand it. It is the agony of God and man in one, face to face with sin. We know nothing about Gethsemane in personal experience. Gethsemane and Calvary stand for something unique. They are the gateway into life for us. It was not the death on the cross that Jesus feared in Gethsemane. He stated most emphatically that he came on purpose to die. In Gethsemane, he feared lest he might not get through as son of man. He would get through as son of God. Satan could not touch him there. But Satan's onslaught was that he would get through as an isolated figure only, and that would mean he could be no savior. Read the accord of agony in the light of the temptation. Then the devil leaveth him for a season. In Gethsemane, Satan came back and was again overthrown. Satan's final onslaught against our Lord as Son of Man is in Gethsemane. The agony in Gethsemane is the agony of the Son of God in fulfilling his destiny as the Savior of the world. The veil is drawn aside to reveal all it cost him to make it possible for us to become sons of God. His agony is the basis of the simplicity of our salvation. The cross of Christ is a triumph for the Son of Man. It was not only a sign that our Lord had triumphed, but that he had triumphed to save the human race. Every human being can get through into the presence of God now because of what the Son of Man went through.